all low repositing data in charts for easier visualization and presentation. Given the multiple possible chart types, it would be great if we have some guidelines on choosing the right chart types. In this video, let's talk about this. So which chart type is right for you? This purely depends on the data you want to visualize and the sort of relationships and comparisons you want to arrive from the data. We also explore the various chart types under each category. Okay, let's first talk with about the comparison of different data points. It's the most easy to understand method for data analysis. Here we compare the values between two or more data points. Let's take an example to further discuss about this. In the chart on the left, we compare the rainfall across four cities over the year. We can infer that rainfall in Tokyo is greater than other cities for the time period from March to October. The line chart on the right captures the difference in employment growth across the solar energy industry. You can clearly see that installation sector has the best employment growth from this chart. Let's take the relationship chart. Here, we try to show the connection and correlation between two or more data points that we have captured. Let's take an example here. The scatter plot on the left helps us to understand the correlation between the volcanic eruption and the time between eruptions. Clearly, longer eruptions seem to be less frequent. The bubble gap on the right captures three data points, relative humidity, temperature, and rainfall. The X and Y axis here show us the relative humidity and the temperature. The radius of the bubble clearly indicate the amount of rainfall we have seen. Next is the composition chart. So composition chart helps us to understand how the whole is divided into different parts. Let's take an example to illustrate this. Using the pie chart on the left, we can infer the popularity of various web browsers. To my surprise, it looks like Internet Explorer is the widely used one. The donut chart on the right illustrates the same fact. Moving on to the distribution chart, this one combines the merits and functionalities of the comparison and composition chart types. In this example for a distribution chart, we take a look how the population is distributed across various countries in the world. The lighter shades indicate less populated countries, whereas the darker shade indicate highly populated regions. Further, we have zoomed in to country India to see how its population has grown over the years. Next is the trend charts. Specifically, if you want to know how a data set performed during a specific time period, trend chart is the, probably the way to go. The trend chart on the left plots 
data related to rainfall temperature over the year in Tokyo. The trend in this chart, the trend line in this chart helps the viewer to easily follow the trend that we are trying to communicate. The chart on the right takes the same approach on multibar chart. Here we understand the trend in fruit consumption across three people. Thank you.